Let's talk about uh, the engine, the big change. You moved to six cylinder and you moved to a turbocharger. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah, we, when we start a project like this, we uh, made up our requirements and find out what are the targets to shoot for. And then we try to make the best um, package overall. And um, one of the main targets um, with the new M3 and M4 was um, to get the weight down. And one step in this story is um, to go from the eight cylinder to the six cylinder, even to save weight in this uh, case of uh, engine also. Um, what about power? We have uh, in the, in the uh, peak power um, only a, a small increase um, from 420 horsepower to 431 horsepower. But if you look on the um, complete um, speed range, um, we have a, a power range of maximum power going from 5400 RPM up to 7000. Um, so we have an enormous increase of usable power. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about the weight saving technologies. Uh, the engine is smaller, obviously. What else? Um, yeah, we try. We, we did quite a lot um, inside the engine. Uh, we made a new crank housing, try to make it as light as possible on the one hand side and as stiff and uh, robust um, on the other hand side. For example, we um, designed it new um, with a closed deck design. That means the water area here is not opened to the, to the deck, to the cylinder head. Um, it's closed here. What does it mean? It means um, you don't have a, a U profile, what you are twisting. You have a closed O profile and that's much more rigid um, against torsional load. Mm -hmm. Um, another point is um, we didn't have casted iron liners here. We have a, a very small iron coating inside uh, the combustion room um, below 100 microns. Which, this allows us to, to be rigid and stable um, on the one hand side and to transport the heat away on the other hand side very good. So an, another important point um, on our weight saving story is uh, the crankshaft. We made it completely new. It's a really nice crankshaft. Um, we have 12 counterweights. This makes the crankshaft completely balanced. So there is no bending at all, even if you go to uh, very high speed. Another point is the material. We don't have a casted crankshaft here. We have a forged crankshaft and um, by this we were able to save about two kilogram um, in comparison to a standard crankshaft. And we have a very robust, very rigid design for the crankshaft. Okay. And uh, the turbocharger, something that uh, many people are uh, asking about. Uh, first of all, is it uh, a twin scroll? Is it a, what is it? Yeah. You see it here, it's um, just one of the two turbochargers. And this answers the second question. Um, we don't have a twin scroll turbocharger because we have two small mono scroll chargers. So what's the advantage of having uh, two turbochargers rather than one? Um, it's a response and um, one of the main issues um, in doing this engine is to be benchmark in, in response, so to be as good as possible in the, uh, in the response of the turbocharger. And so for, this case, uh, for this reason we choose two small ones. Mm -hmm. um, we have a very small turbine which is uh, able to react very fast. We have an electric controlled wastegate um, that gives us the possibility to react fast and um, extremely precise. And this is also a second step to be um, as responsive as possible. Mm -hmm. So basically, the, uh, moving from uh, eight cylinder to six cylinder and uh, turbocharging it, it's supposed to give better response than uh, the previous V8. It's supposed to give a response as good as the previous V8 because it was a natural aspirated engine. Now we have a turbo engine. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about fuel consumption? What are the uh, 
planned uh, assumed uh, reductions in fuel consumption? By, by going to this turbocharging technology, uh, we win about 40% of torque and we win also about a 50% fuel consumption. So we have 40% more torque and 25% less consumption and emission with this engine. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome.